Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday, January 17th. Oh, it's been a while since I talked to you a little bit. Uh, this was Martin Luther King birthday weekend. And hope everyone, um, some of I know a lot of you probably had a break. And we just stopped to remember um, the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King. Um, here in the 757, you know, we're still on our roller coaster ride. <laughs> it's kind of cold this morning, and each day it's going to get a little warmer. We're going to be in the 50s today and the 60s tomorrow and close to 70 on Thursday. And then it comes down again. But we're grateful. As I always say, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. You know, reflecting on Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, over the years, I have I've listened to a lot of his speeches, his recorded speeches. I've read a lot of his quotes and and things like that. Not just I have a dream speech, but you know, I I, I wonder as each year passes by during this time. What would Dr. King say about the times that we're living in today after his fight for um, equality through nonviolent means? I said, what would he say today? What would he think about what was going on today? Well, I think he had some foresight and some vision of the future because a taste of it was going on during his time. You know, although now everybody names streets after Dr. Martin Luther King and buildings, and we recognize him now with a government holiday, there was a time, and he knew it himself, that even his own people were against him, even when he was trying to do good. And that's the case <laughs> with anybody. Um, you know, it always seemed that the majority were with him and we knew that there were other evils that we were fighting against, but you know, it's worse when you have to deal with it among your own people. And you know, we talk about how others have done us wrong uh, as a people, but I see more of this among ourselves, you know. Uh, of course, we have the occasional police shooting, but what about the things that are happening every single day? Every single day, I, you cannot cut on the TV, especially in our neck of the woods here, and I, I'm sure all over, that somebody got shot last night. Though. Somebody got hurt, somebody got stabbed, not by others, but about from our own people. And I wonder what would Dr. King say? Well, he had some foresight because there was, it was a quote that has stuck in my mind that we hadn't heard a lot from him uh, before. And when I, when I reflected on this, even yesterday, when I was watching the different commemorations it came up twice. There were some people that came that were thinking the same thing. And this was the quote. He said, we must learn to live together as brothers or we will perish together as fools. <laughs> Think about that now. We must learn to live together as brothers, those of us that's of kin, supposed to be, or we will perish together as fools. You know, Psalm 133 tells us how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. Well, this is my gem nugget today, and we have heard this a lot lately, especially just among our own people. We've got to do better, but let me add one word together. We've got to do better. 
together because this is a thing that we've got to do in unity. If we're going to defeat some of these things going on, even the violence in our own um, communities, even the poverty in our own communities, because as I read his quote, you know, we must learn to live together as brothers or we will perish together as fools. We will perish not only physically, but mentally, emotionally, even financially as fools if we don't come together as a people. You know, if you recall, Bible scholars, that when Jesus um, had to uh, deliver this young man from a demon, and he was throwing himself all over the place in the fire and all of that. And Jesus called the, the demon out of him, the devil. And, and Jesus said, what is your name? Speaking to the spirit that was in him. And this, they said, we are legion, <laughs> you know, meaning we are together, even in this destruction of this man. See, unity, for better or for worse, we can do things more effectively if we do it together. And if you remember, when Jesus called uh, Legion out of the man, he sent him into the swine, and it was like hundreds of swine. So that was a powerful spirit. Can you imagine uh, and, and, and that demon, the Legion, made those swine go into the uh, river and drown themselves. And I always thought about the fact all of that was in that one man that he sent out into the swine. So that, that tells you the power of, 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 of the enemy even when they are together. The enemy, Jesus says, is not divided among themselves. That's why they're so powerful. So imagine if we are in unity, how powerful that is, because that's why Psalm 133, one says, how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. And we've got to do better. We will see so many better things if we did those things in unity. Just like it says, if my people, if my people would come together and not just pray, but humble themselves. But it's got to be our people. Oh, that's something to think about. So think about that. We, I mean, we got to do more than pray. <laughs> We've got to really come together in a positive way. You know, scripture tells us again, one can chase a thousand, two can chase 10,000. Isn't that something? So let's think about that as we go forth. It's about unity, especially in a positive way, uh, especially among our people. Yeah, I'm saying black people, black people. Let me just put it out there. Uh, I ain't even gonna say black and brown. I heard the lady say, when you say black and brown, it's still black because <laughs> it's another color besides white. But anyway, we've got to do better together. Let me remind you, join me for Church School Live tonight. God is still talking about his promises. Tonight we're going to talk about the fact that God promises light. And we're going to come from it from another angle because sometimes when we think about, you know, we know that the words are light um, to our path. But sometimes, you know, you might be afraid because when that light shines, it shines on us too. So I don't want to get too much into it. But join me tonight for Church School Live because God promises light. We're still in the book of Isaiah. So that's on Facebook and Church School Live. So join me tonight, but don't forget, we can do, we've got to do better. And how do we do it? We do it together. Bye-bye.